The story begins with Kratos, the once ruthless Spartan warrior, grappling with the consequences of his actions. After the events of God of War III, he has an epiphany. He had absorbed hope from Pandora's box to defeat Ares and to prevent Athena from gaining ultimate power. He stabs himself with the blade of Olympus, returning hope to humanity. This selfless act seemingly ends his life, but a trail of blood at the cliff's edge hints at his continued existence. Athena's curse condemns Kratos to wander the earth, burdened by guilt and seeking redemption. Desperate to escape his past, he repeatedly tries to rid himself of the Blades of Chaos, but no matter where he leaves them or how far he travels, the Blades return, an ever-present reminder of his violent history. Kratos flees to ancient Egypt, but even there, he cannot escape his destiny. A mysterious man, who is likely Thoth, the Egyptian god of wisdom and reckoning, recognizes him as the god of war. This figure speaks cryptically of destiny, relentlessly pursuing Kratos in various forms, including animals like a monkey and a bird. Tormented by these encounters, Kratos realizes he can't outrun his past forever. Reluctantly, Kratos decides to confront his fate, setting the stage for potential interactions with various Egyptian gods, as well as gods from other mythologies in future installments. As Kratos grapples with his past, his evolving relationship with the iconic Blades of Chaos is also explored, and this story shows how he has come to terms with them. God of War, Fallen God, promises a rich exploration of Kratos' past adventures and his path to redemption, all while delving into the complex and tormented psyche of this iconic character. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mystifying world of God of War. If you enjoyed this narration, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting comic book adventures.